Hello and welcome to Hexed Encountered. I'm Joe. In this video, I wanted to do something that I kind of mentioned in a comment or a reply to a comment talking about um, all the backlog of games I have. So I've chosen uh, six games and I'm going to allow you guys to vote to see which one of these six games I'm going to do a video on. Hopefully this month, I do have some uh, some things I want to get done and I've been a little sick lately so I haven't made as much progress as I would have liked so I thought this would be a good opportunity to kind of give you guys a chance to you know let me know what you think what you would like to see so I'm going to do these in chronological order it covers a wide range of time periods and topics now the gameplay for this I'll probably do an, um, an unboxing or a first look maybe shouldn't say probably I might do one and then do a follow-up with a gameplay video. The gameplay video will likely be on Vassal, only because, like I said, I've got other games I'm working with right now that are <laughs> taking up most of my available table space. So let's get this started with uh, a classic here. So this, of course, is SPQR. This is the second volume of the Great Battles of History, designed by Richard Berg and Mark Herman, two of the... Uh, Two of the most well-known, successful, prolific, and talented game designers ever. Uh, artwork by Roger B. McGowan. And um, so this is a GMT game, and obviously this is the ancient period. This is the period of the Roman Republic. So that would be for option number one. Option number two is from VUCA Simulations. It is the Great Crisis of Frederick II. So this would be in the uh, 18th century. And it's an interesting game that appears to not be too complex and is highly solitaire suitable. So this would be a this would be option number two. It is a uh, it is a game where your unit scales regiments and it's a point to point game. So it's a little different from some of these other ones. A third one it wouldn't be a, a selection of you know various eras if you didn't include the Napoleonic era. So here we have Austerlitz 1805, Rising Eagles from Hexasim, and this would be our uh, third choice. So again, the Napoleonic period. This is a fairly well-known series, a uh, fairly well-known game, so probably not a surprise. Um, or something out of the blue that you may not uh, have seen before, but uh, this would be option number three. And you notice none of these are out of the shrink wrap yet. Except that's PQR because I did look at that earlier in this first look video. Our fourth one is a bagged game actually, and it's from one of my favorite designers. And it is the beginning of a series that is uh, long running and continuing, and that would be Stonewall Sword. So this would be um, designed, of course, by Herman Luttman and published by Revolution Games. And as I mentioned, this game has a <laughs> has a lot of uh, follow up games to it. Um, and it is the Blind Sword series. It is the first game in the Blind Sword series. So this one, of course, has a Rick Barber map. Uh, the late, great Rick Barber did some fantastic maps. One of them is in this bag. So that's option number four. Then we go to a game from Decision. This is Battles in the East, Volume 1, designed by Anthony Burkett. And it has two games in it, Bagration Stop and Sandomir's Offensive. Both of those took place in 44. There are four planned volumes in this series so far. I think there may end up being five, but um, I have one and two. This is one, and they each cover basically a year of the uh, war on the Eastern Front. There are two games in here on a mounted uh, map, I believe. Again, I have not opened it yet, but uh, you can see here that uh, they're pretty standard, I guess, decision games. Um, Anthony Burkett, I think I said Anthony, it's Anthony Burkett. Is a, is a pretty good designer. And then last but certainly not least is the game Hearts and Minds Vietnam 1965-75. So this is more of a um, strategic level game. And this is designed by John Pomisky, I believe. Uh, yes. And published by Compass Games. And uh, this is one I've had for a little bit now and I've really been wanting to play it. I have a bunch of games from GMT, a bunch of games from Compass that I really would love to get to the table. I just have so many. And so you'll see 
as we go, I was thinking also about doing kind of in Joe's library type of a video where I go through some of the games I have that I have not done for video. But those are your six choices. So I'm going to put up a poll and attach it to this. And you can pick, um, you know, one. Pick one. Tell me which one is your favorite. Which one would you like to see me do here on the channel? And uh, whatever wins, I'll, I'll do some videos on it. So that's it. That's uh, pretty pretty straightforward and simple. Hopefully I didn't ramble too long. I do have a tendency to run at the mouth. <laughs> um, that's just how it is. So as always, I do thank you guys for watching. That's always true. I appreciate your viewership. I appreciate your um, interaction with me via comments and so forth. Please, you know, let me know what you think. Comments, questions, um, suggestions, all welcome. Please consider liking, sharing, or subscribing if you're not a subscriber. It'd be great if you would check that out. Click the bell if you are uh, for notifications. And um, if you are a subscriber, thank you as always for your support. That's going to do it for this one. I'm Joe. This is the Hexton Camera Channel. And until next time, as always, happy gaming.